Many kids are getting ready to go back to school, some today, some next week, LAUSD, but experts say it's important for families to stay on top of vaccinations. Yeah, Dr. David Bronstein is a pediatric infectious disease specialist with Kaiser Permanente. He is here to talk about the importance of shots as children head back into the classroom this year. Doctor, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So what are some of the mandated vaccines that schools require of children before they return to school? So it depends on the kid's age. So for kindergarten, for example, uh, we have to make sure that kids have their vaccines against polio, against tetanus and whooping cough, hepatitis B, and chicken pox. Now for the older kids, don't forget about the seventh graders, for example, they also have required vaccines, so they need vaccines against whooping cough and chicken pox at that age um, to make sure that they're current, although they usually get the chicken pox vaccine, you know, many, many years before that. But remember, not all of the recommended vaccines are required. And so there's a lot of other vaccines that we give really at all ages that are also very important to keep kids healthy, not just the bare minimum that are required to get into school. Yeah, and doctor, you know, let's talk a little bit about immunization. Why is that so important for these kids? So especially the vaccines that are required here, uh, these are against illnesses that still exist. The only disease that really got eradicated from the planet is really smallpox. Everything else, whether it's polio, whether it's measles, or something like chickenpox, for example, even though we don't routinely see them in the United States, they are present in other countries. We see measles, for example, in Europe. We see it in Africa and Asia, and it's only a plane ride away. And these are serious illnesses that if we have uh, unimmunized populations in the United States, they can easily take hold again. And we saw that. We saw that with the measles outbreaks that we were seeing uh, even as late as 2019, where over 1,200 people wound up getting measles again, really for no reason other than our population immunity had dipped to such a point where one traveler can make it spread in a significant number of people. And doctor, we know that some parents are hesitant. They believe that vaccines can actually harm their children. So what is your response to that? It's just not true. Uh, the reality is we all want the same thing. We all want to protect our kids. Unfortunately, some people are thinking, hey, I need to protect my kid from the vaccine rather than from the illness, which is really the real threat. Vaccines are safe. We use them in millions of kids every year. All medical organizations, whether it's the American Academy of Pediatrics, the World Health Organization, we all believe and say the same thing, that these vaccines are safe for kids. Any severe allergic reactions are exceedingly rare, and I'm talking less than one in a million, and in general, they're very easily treatable if unfortunately your kid was at one in a million. But the reality is these vaccines are safe. They're tremendously effective at doing what they're supposed to do, protecting us against these life-threatening vaccine preventable illnesses. Yeah, you know, we, we've been talking about the COVID vaccine, but what about the flu shot? How important is it for kids to get the flu shot? So unfortunately, kids do get hit by flu disproportionately every year. Uh, the last two years have been a little bit light, fortunately, and we haven't seen much of flu seasons and it was relatively mild. But we always look at the southern hemisphere to see if we're in for a more concerning flu season. And what we've seen in places like Australia, for example, is uh, we're probably in for a bad flu season this year. It looks like it's coming back with a vengeance this year. And so we do need to make sure that we protect our kids because in a typical flu season, kids are hit hard. Plus, they're the mosquitoes. They're the ones who spread it to the adults uh, very frequently. And so by protecting our kids, we're protecting all of us. But flu can be extremely dangerous. The vaccine will be available this year, just like every other year, uh, starting around September or so. And so to sum all of this up, what is your message to parents when it comes to immunization? I would say trust us. Trust your kid's pediatrician. Trust your kid's family doctor. Trust us when we tell you how important these vaccines are. Uh, we've seen these illnesses. Uh, we know what kind of damage they can do. And there's no reason why a child these days should be at risk for these illnesses that really should be wiped off the face of the earth. All right, Dr. Bronstein, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Have a good rest of the morning. Thank you. You too.